What's up guys, just chilling, chilling out, coming back, you know how it is, doing it again, just thought I'd do an indoor flight, didn't get a chance to do a outdoor flight today, maybe a, maybe tomorrow, gonna try to do an indoor flight of this Eosheen H8-3D Mini, so let's see how this one flies, I got the black and green one. Ooh, pretty cool. And I'm also using the same transmitter that uh, I use for the H20, H20, it binds with it. So let's go ahead and start in beginner rates. So I'm in beginner rates with this thing. The pitch, even on beginner rates, is pretty, pretty zippy. Pretty zippy even on beginner rates. Okay, let's um, let's go ahead and show you some of the yaw. The yaw is pretty slow on beginner rates. That's beginner rate yaw. I don't know if you can see that. That's pretty slow. Oh, had a little little crash down there. But yeah, your beginner rate yaw is really slow. So I'll just go ahead and throw that out there again. Well, it's not really slow, but kind of slow, you know. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh, now, after beginner rate, y'all, let's go ahead and show you how to do inverted flips. So you press the right flip button, and then just move the way you want it to invert, or the right shoulder button, and then it'll flip. Watch, let's go ahead and do this. Ready? Oh. Okay, so it, get, it dropped a little bit, but now we're in inverted flight. And controls are the same in inverted flight, you know. It's uh, still the same back and forward. You know, we're still in inverted flight. Oh, whoa, that came mightily close to me. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and go, and then uh, to go back, you just you press the flip button again, and then you move the the right stick. So we'll press the right shoulder. Right shoulder button, so you hear it beep, and then right stick. So there you go, back into uh, normal flight mode. Okay, let's go ahead and go to let's go to the next rate. So two beeps for intermediate. So there's a pitch on intermediate. So now it zooms quite a bit, you know. Oh gee, pretty responsive on intermediate. Okay, let's check out the intermediate yaw. Let's go ahead and uh, there's the intermediate yaw. Yeah, so it looks to be a little, I think it's a little faster. I can't tell. That's the only, oh, hit the ceiling there. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, this one's really nice. The pitch is really good. Okay, we got a something popped out. I don't know if I, let's see. Okay, we're hitting the battery. Alright. Alright, so we're still in intermediate rate. So let's go ahead and um, we showed the yaw. Now let's go ahead and let's go to high rate. So now we're in high rate. Now watch the yaw in high rate. There's that fast high rate. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that as it really spins. Pretty nice yaw in high rate. Oh, we kind of dipped out there. Okay, so we got really quick yaw and high rate. Now let's go ahead and uh, let's try some of these. Uh, let's go to second rate. So we'll try some second rate. Uh... Oh, couldn't do them. I was going to try some second rate funnels, but it got away from me. So let's go ahead. Let's try the high rate. Let's get that yaw to really get a... Spinny, and we'll try some some funnels there. All right, let's do this. Ready? So look at that. Uh... Oh, got a little bit away from me. I think it's a. Uh... I can do them. I think I need more room. But you know, definitely real nice, fast y'all when you're on a high rate. Yeah. Oi. Wow, it's almost uh, 
almost too hard to control there. We're not having a oh, having a good run with these uh, funnels here. Maybe it's giving it too much yaw. So let's go ahead and try to go a little slower. Okay, that was a little better, but we don't have all the room. Well, why don't we go ahead and now we're in beginner rate. Let's go ahead and try headless mode. So headless mode, we'll, uh, we'll calibrate it first. And then you click the left stick and then the right stick right after. And then it's blinking. Okay, well it came back to me, so that didn't work. Let's go ahead and try again. We'll have to uh, recalibrate it. Okay, so now it's blinking. It should be in headless mode. It looks like it is. Looks like we got back and forth the auto. Oh, okay. okay, we did until I uh, smacked it down there. But it looks like we're a. Uh, we got headless mode. I don't know if you can see that. That is a. Uh, and some back and forth the auto there. So. Do we got headless mode working? That's pretty cool. All right. Oh, wow, we're going all over the place here. Okay. Well, headless mode did work, so that was cool. And then I just usually press the left stick, and then the the lights will stop blinking, and I believe it gets back to normal after that. Okay. So we got a little bit of headless mode. Now let's try one key return. So I'll send it out there a little bit. Okay, and then you press the left joystick to return it. So let's get it out there. Okay, ready? Watch. Well, look, it one key returned, but whoa! It went the opposite way, and it came back pretty fast, too. So, but definitely you gotta watch that one key return. How about we'll go ahead and try to calibrate it first. Maybe go straight in line and see if this, uh, Gives us a straighter one key return, so we'll, uh, we'll throw it back there. Or out there. Alright, more. Okay, look, whoa, that came pretty straight back to me. That wasn't bad. I think the first time it didn't come back because I didn't do a, you know, I didn't have it level and calibrate it for headless. And uh, this time it came back, so it wasn't too bad. Okay, well, I guess now we pretty much show the yaw rate from uh, the different rates, high, medium, and low. I'm on low rate now. I'll go ahead and go on medium rate. See if I can get some medium rate funnels in there. Oh, I keep trying, but it keeps taking off on me, taking off on me. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and try some high rate. And then... If if that don't work, we'll just go ahead and do some more yaw. Okay, so now we're in high rates. So you can see the pitch in high rates is... Oh, for this this little room, it's uh, probably a little bit extreme. Nevertheless, I can show you guys a yaw again or something. Right or out until LVC or whatnot. So let's go ahead and a high rate yaw. And it's high rate, yeah. Okay, so I keep dipping that. Oh, okay. Hit the ceiling and then it threw me uh, out that way. But anyway, there's high rate, yaw. Yeah. That yaw is nice. Let's go ahead and, uh. <clears throat> okay. One, two, three beeps. High rate. Let's go ahead and see if we can get headless mode working in high rate. Okay. Okay, it looks like it's uh, working. Okay, yeah, we got back and forth to y'all. I don't know if you guys could see that, but that's headless mode, and this is headless mode on high rate. I don't know if this uh, keeps one rate for the headless mode or 
you, you know, because it seems like when I put it on headless mode, unless it's the pitch that changes between the rates, it seems like the yaw doesn't change in headless mode. I don't know. Maybe it's just, maybe I'm assuming that, but. Okay, well, we hit LVC, but you guys got to pretty much see a few things, you know, how headless mode works, back and forth, yaw, the yaw. I couldn't do the funnels I wanted to. Maybe I can do that outside tomorrow when I have more room, or I could have tried those with headless mode on, you know, maybe wouldn't have thrown me around, but uh, I'll try to do that tomorrow. We'll do an outdoor flight. Just wanted to do a quick indoor and show you how that went, and um. There you have it. That's the Eoshin H8 H8 3D Mini or H8 Mini 3D. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's one or the other. All right, cool.